um, let's open up the show with this amazing video that I saw um, actually uh, shared via the old social media. And I think it's a good way to kind of prime us in terms of getting us a, an understanding of what's currently going on in the world at the moment. So here it goes. Listen to what the Gen Z's are doing and how well they're handling the situation. So let's lower the sound a little bit and let's play that bad boy. Get onto full screen. And then, bish. We show up in t-shirts and holding signs, but the officers and military are showing up locked and loaded with bulletproof shields to protect them against what? Paper cuts? Um, I did not come here to speak, but after hearing what Karen here behind me said, I needed to... I love this girl. I'm not sure if the girl behind, the woman behind her is a Karen, but I like this slight diss before you get started, right? It's amazing. Speak up. Um, she's upset because her officer husband is being cussed at and supposedly followed and spit on, but I just want to point out that people who are black have had to endure all of that and brutality at the hands of the people who are supposed to protect them for over 400 years, which is why we are here to protest in the first place. You're not watching me right now. I know if you're listening via the podcast, but I'm kneeling right now. I'm kneeling. This is the first knee I've taken this entire process. I've got my white ally here, right? I've got Cindy or Rebecca, whatever her name is. She's holding it down for us. You know what I mean? So I am sorry that in the last 10 days you have felt just a little bit uncomfy, but I hope that you can understand that you've now had a fraction of a taste of it. And if you've got any empathy in that little blue heart of yours, then I suggest that you start looking at this from the other side, the morally, legally, and ethically correct side. It is not a blue life. It is a fucking blue shirt. Another Karen earlier... Another Karen earlier said, if someone broke the law, then they should be arrested. Okay, so then let, let's arrest the police who said, screw everything that they learned in their supposed max of six months of training, and let's arrest the police who turn off their cameras. Let's arrest the police who use violence against people on the opposing side just to prove an invalid made-up point. Woo. If someone broke the law, they should be arrested. So let's arrest them. Someone here said that we are not against you. We just want you to do what you swore to do, which is protect and serve. So why are we protecting ourselves against you? If you are more concerned about protecting property rather than law-abiding citizens, then you are the problem. We show up in t-shirts and holding signs, but the officers and military are showing up locked and loaded with bulletproof shields to protect them against what? Paper cuts? After a probable maximum of six months of training, you can't handle someone yelling facts in your face? At this point, the opposers know what the right decision is. Karen, you were not at the protest. We were. We saw what happened with our own eyes. You watched the news. That is the difference. (laughs) We are speaking on experience, and you are speaking out of willful ignorance. But enough about her. I am really here to tell all of you to vote yes, because the wall behind you says, let honor, truth, and justice rule within these walls. And I hope that you abide by that. Thank you. Absolute fire. She came through and just... Torch that room, bro. Give me goosebumps, man. Gen Zs are amazing, innit? People give them a bad rap, right? But god damn it, man. They sabotage um, Trump's rally in Tulsa. Um, they resurrected Jason Derulo's career, right? They, at some point, I remember there was a group of, of Gen Z teenagers that were catching child predators and shit. Like, these kids are amazing, man. They're out there putting their lives on the line, getting pepper sprayed every single day, getting beaten up with batons by men that could be their fathers or grandfathers. They're putting their lives on the line for real. Look what they're doing, man. Look what they're doing. God damn it, man. You go, girl. So I thought that was amazing to see, really. Honestly, really, really inspiring. And I think it's... um. I think it's just comforting because I think my generation, millennials group, we got a bit disenfranchised, isn't it? We probably have to go through what? The Afghanistan war, the whole weapon of mass destruction, Brexit. There are so many things, um, even just a um, university tuition fiasco, right? There are so many things that kind of made us get I don't know what we, we just we just felt as if like our voice would not be heard right within the political circle so we just decided f that let's just move on and not bother voting but I like that these kids coming up have a little bit more optimism than we do they they they're ready to bring the fight um to the establishments to the state to their congress to whatever it may be right um they're ready to actually put their lives online they're ready to actually be you know protesting on the streets some of them are a bit loopy right especially the ones that have short hair and it's all colored and stuff and they get into weird gender politics stuff but for the most part they know what they're doing man they know what they're doing and again i can't um i can't begrudge it 
And I'm a big fan of actually allowing kids that actually want to take part in these things and want to voice their opinions and want to enact change the room to do so. I think forcing everybody to take some kind of stance or say some sort of comment is just unfair because some people just don't have the mental um, or intellectual bandwidth to do so. And it's not a slight on them. It's not saying, oh, they're dumb, right? They're just not proficient in, in that one area. It's sort of like talking to, about football to girls. Most of the time, they don't have a clue what you're talking about. And they could give... They don't have a clue and they could really care less. It's that kind of combination, right? It's like, I don't care and don't tell me, <laughs> right? Um, so it's not as if like they're dumb because she doesn't know what the offside rule is, right? She just doesn't care. She doesn't want to know because it's not going to benefit in any way, shape or form. So I think politics is the same sort of way uh, or social justice issues are the same sort of thing too. You should allow the people who are proficient, who are experts and who have a passion for it to uh, say any act of change that they want. And then if they need help from us, you know, to kind of band around them, to be allies or to hold stuff off or to make signs or whatever, or to lift boxes, I'm there for you. But I'm not gonna be on there in the street politics because like, it's not my place do you know what i mean the place is for this generation to take a stance so yeah big up her man amazing to see that really really great way to open the show i think because they put me in a good mood anyway at least so hopefully you guys